My grandfather's plot was too large for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure and pride. Hey everyone, Shaver 1000 here. Today, we're going to try to take this clock and put it inside that clock. Not the whole thing. But, I'll explain that to you here in just a minute. That's a future video, like, very soon. Stick around, guys. Okay, guys, so, as you can see, it's 11.42, late night video. Um, it's almost a shame to uh, take this apart. It's, it's a beautiful clock, and it does work. Everything works fine on it. As you can see, it's keeping time. But... <clears throat> I'm going to try to take the movement out of here and the chimes and the thing that makes the pendulum work and put it into this clock here. Now I'm surprised this clock, if I remember right, doesn't have chimes. So I don't know if someone has changed the movement in it or what, but it, it didn't have the chimes. These, of course, are fake. Uh, so, I'm taking things down. But... <clears throat> So we're going to try to put the chimes and everything in here. This didn't work right either. I don't know if the magnet was getting weak or what, but it, it never swung right. It, it would work for a while. These things got to be perfectly level almost too. It worked for a while, but then it would stop. There is some wear on this thing, but it was free. It was given to me a couple years ago. We also got something else free, huh? You did. Yeah, I did. He always gets free stuff. I don't know. He sits beside these guys, starts talking, and they all wheel and deal together. And I'm like, really? And this is what we got free. The same guy that gave me that other clock from the video where we fixed it. Well, gave me this clock. But the clock, I believe, did work. I think the battery just ran down or it might have got it looked like it got hooked on that stuck on that hand the hour hand there I anyway so but this never did like I said it would swing for a little bit but then that's it it, it would stop but this one does work fine <clears throat> I checked everything out it does chime the chime is off like at one o'clock it might bong three times or whatever I can't remember but that'll be straightened out once we get the insides into that so let's get you on the stand we'll take this apart first and then this this comes apart here this is two pieces then we'll bring this one over and we'll lay it down, try not to break any of this glass. And then um, we'll, uh, it's screwed on there. We'll um, see if we can get the innards from the other clock to fit inside of here. So we can make this thing chime again, that would be cool. Well, I don't know if it ever chimed to begin with. It may have, but I mean, it's unusual for to have a clock like this that doesn't have a chime in it. So. We're going to try to put a chime in it and uh, get the pendulum working right. That would be nice. Stick around. Okay, guys, so looks like we've got a bunch of little Phillips screws around the uh, edges here. There's two, four, six, looks like seven uh, that I can see. Wait, there's two in here. Two, four. Uh, so, two, four, six, eight, ten, looks like twelve screws. I'll speed you up through that, but I'm also going to use this little guy. And then I've got a magnet here. It's kind of big for the blue mat, so 
that's why I don't have the blue mat over here especially when we get to the other one you know because I'm gonna have to lay that whole case down so <clears throat> all right time to speed you up Well, there's that piece. I thought that was all one piece. Okay. That's the test button. Side it's sticky, keep holding that on. Okay. Alright, these are all screwed on. So that's good. Because I can pretty much put them anywhere in there. That's just double sided tape. This whole thing is pretty much. All them screws on the outside just. Now, if anything, I can always try to put this one back together, but. That wire is just wide open with some scotch tape over them. Alright, so I'm guessing these two screws will hold the, the front on. That's real glass there. So I'm betting the front is real glass, so. I'm missing a couple? Yeah, I am. There's one down here, one up on top. There we go. Yeah, that's real glass too. Make a cool picture frame though. Second hand, minute hand, and the hour hand. I'm going to say they shouldn't be in there that tight. I don't have you zoomed way in because, you know, lighting. I, I think you can see what's going on here. Boy, that didn't take much to take that off of there. short screw there that spring was bent but, <clears throat> but yeah everything it's dusty but everything did work the electromagnet for the uh, pendulum worked so I'm not sure I think the other ones built into the clock if I remember right but we'll have to see once I get that one over here, which is just going to be a minute. So I may have to, to uh, fabricate something for it. Pretty dusty. Alright, now. There's a hole down here for something. Might need that, we don't know. Okay, well, man, still nice. Like I said, we can put it back together. Um, <clears throat> I figured for four bucks, if I can get these chimes to work in that other one, <clears throat> it was well worth that. I can always buy another clock and put in here, but uh, <clears throat> we'll just say it's plastic. It's not wood. It's not like it's an expensive clock. Okay, so let's move this stuff over here out the way. Got to put a burner in the stove. That was monkey's phone. All right, <coughs> let me go grab the other one. I'm going to set it down here. 
Okay, so this pendulum set up different. <clears throat> like this is one we just took apart. It hooks directly on there. This one, or out of here, takes a pendulum like this. So before we do anything, let's flip this over. got a battery in it and there's the <clears throat> movement or the clock motor itself I know that battery shot see so I think it was still working um, I don't know if this is gonna work yeah it'll fit in there um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the chimes yet Yeah, I'm surprised this one didn't have chimes in it. Okay, or I mean... Mm -hmm. right. Let's open this up. Alright, All right, now let's take... Let's take, I don't, I'm not, I don't think these hands will fit that other motor either, or that other clock either. We'll just have to see. Hmm. Heat probably getting to that, I imagine. Okay, well, let me get a pair of pliers. There's that. I don't like that that plastic's coming off of there. I'm probably going to have to take it off. Okay, so this is screwed on here with two screws. It looks like it's missing some. Uh, so I don't know. If this is might not be the original clock that goes in it or movement I should say hmm okay well I don't see any more screws let me let me check this out so I don't break something Looks like there's holes that used to be screws, but I'll bet it's glued on now. Looks like it. Hang on. That's right. Hot glued on. Okay, so. <clears throat> can fit this clock in here. Well, the movement. I keep calling it a clock, and I probably will, but. So that'll go. Let me see another screw right here that, yeah, that's where that went. Okay, well, all right. Let's see if that goes like that. This clock will be sitting like that so let's get this put back in all right let me grab screws let's get the screws put in there We'll have to hide this stuff. Um, okay. Right. 
Now, I'm going to have to try to hold this up there with my fingers. I'm going to try to start that one. Let me see if I can do something with this first. Okay, so. I just peeled that stuff off. I do like them decorative hands, you know, the old Roman style hands. I guess you would call them that. Or, I don't know, maybe not. Anyway, this is Roman numerals, so I may have to put that that rubber piece on it. No, no, that'll work. Let me see if those hands will fit. Ooh, will they? I think they will. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, uh, that one won't. Yeah. This one's much smaller. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we can do this. At least we got one of them that looks nice on there. Wait a minute. Wrong hand. Okay, so there's that. Now, all right, these are just wood. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and try to put the other stuff in here. Hot in here. So, let me see if I can get the stuff in here. Yeah, it can come up here in the back. I can use screws to attach that. Sure, where I want to put the speaker yet? Probably, maybe there, and then there, something like that. <clears throat> so now we got to figure out the pendulum deal, which. Great, it can screw on right there. But, will the long pendulum work on it? That's the thing. Now this has still got protective coating on it too. See, I don't know. Let me back out a little bit here. See, it's kind of got a notch there. But we'll have to see. Um, we'll actually hang on this side, I think. Uh, let me see here. Let's see how the other one hooks on. Really don't want to put that baby one in there, you know what I mean? I can screw that on there. It'll be like that. All that is is electromagnet in there. So it's not gonna really it has nothing to do with the time like a regular old clock would, you know. A regular clock you would adjust this up and down. Um to adjust the speed of your clock. But this one is just decorative. Okay, so let me move these before I lose them. Let me see, what do I. Okay, I know how this is going to go. Let's see if we can get. Because this has got a round. It's 
got a little round bar that goes across here. Well, anyway, right there to hang those chains from. So, I don't know if I can screw this directly onto that or not. But that's what I'm going to try to do. So stick around. I'm just going to put a couple screws in that and see if that's going to hold that. And if it will, and if it's got room where it don't hit the back, we should be okay for that. Okay, so the problem I'm going to have here is the pendulum and the old clock see was built right into it okay and <clears throat> let's see how did it go like this this hung in there and that swung back and forth like that so this was hidden up in there because this all the way goes all the way up to the top on this one now this one will not do that if I put it here where I wanted to put it it's going to hang down here I don't know if I wanted to do that or not I mean in order to put it way up there which would work Hmm. Um, because <clears throat> I know the pendulum never did work right on this clock. I can never get the pendulum to to keep going. So I think I'm just gonna have to leave it like that. I can always paint this gold at a later date once you know it, it runs okay and everything. I can always take them screws out and. Uh, paint that gold I think would look okay alright so let me let me get that screwed on there I'm just gonna roll with it like that and if it works okay I'll put a I'll paint that gold or something or maybe put something decorative on there I don't know but I want to take this out I'm gonna put some screws in this And we'll see what happens okay guys so I like the looks of this one better but that one's bigger it covers up more of this it's easier to see so I'll keep that I shouldn't have peeled that plastic off now <laughs> but um, we got this put in here um, so I gotta get some batteries well I've got to get we got to get the speaker in and the batteries for the chime in. Um, but I got some of this stuff to put that stuff in there. So um, I want to go ahead and put those in the back. It's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see that. Oh, and then I got to put this back on. This goes right up in there to hang the, the simulated weights. So I'm going to set this down and I'll put that stuff in. Like I said, all I'm going to do is stick it in there with sticky tape. And then, uh, it's that Gorilla stuff. And then uh, I'll show you what I, how I did that. Okay, so there's the battery for the chimes. That's for the pendulum and the speakers down in there. And I just got that stuck up in there. So I need to get, what, three more batteries. One for the clock and two for the chimes. And then um, we'll see if we can't get it timed right. And then we'll put it back over on its base. And make sure it's going to work all right and chime like it's supposed to. Okay, I got batteries in it. Let's turn it on. There it goes. 
for now, let's see if we can get it to chime. Then we gotta count the the bonging bong thingies. Okay, so that's saying six o'clock, right? So we're gonna move this. Whoa! I may have to put that other hand on after all. Well, maybe not. We'll move that down to there. I'll charge, it's got rechargeable batteries, I'll charge them. Okay, let me mess with that. Should be close though. And then I'll be back with you. Alright guys, so there it is. Seems to be working. I need to move the second hand, the one that you can see going around. I need to move it. <clears throat> it's 30 seconds off. It's not a big deal. The pendulum looks like it's slowing down because you got to tweak this thing. To get it to work right. If I put the little one in there, it works fine. I'll get it. That's the same problem I was having with the other one. If I put this one in there, works fine, but it looks kind of idiotic. And I like the smaller face better. What do you guys think? I like the smaller one better. You can see that one better, but who really needs to see it? It goes off every hour, and... Who really needs to see it when but I was watching that clock and this one and it's about 30 seconds off so what I could probably do is just move the uh, second hand forward 30 seconds so let's let it get here we'll move this forward 30 seconds and that'll probably take care of that so yeah that's pretty cool um, let's just go ahead and take it to three o'clock make sure it chimes three times and that's got a switch you can stop it stop the clock I like that little pendulum. There it is. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.
another late night video two o'clock in the morning <laughs> but that's okay all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now i'll let you know on a future video which pendulum i decide to keep and which face i decide to keep on it i'll ask her i like the smaller one better but you know that one's easier to see but it doesn't really matter so i mean it was a free clock i could, well i got four dollars in it now so <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys. Take care of yourselves. My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weight more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born, and was always his treasure and pride. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, his life seconds numbering. It stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Watching its pendulum swing to and fro Many hours had he spent while a boy And in childhood and manhood the clock seemed to know And to share both his grief and his joy For it struck twenty-four when he entered at the door With the blooming and beautiful bride But it stopped Short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering, his life seconds numbering. It stopped short, never to go again when the old